0xc 0000000005 error means there is a access violation. This means that your PC can't access information that is stored in a specific location of your RAM. Recently, I had this exact issue specifically with Dead Island 2, and I spent several months searching for what was causing this, and I finally found it. Hello guys, welcome back to Ray's Gaming Attack Productions, and today we'll be fixing the 0xc0005 error on Windows 10 and 11. Now for the people that are watching this and are not sure if this is their issue, just go to your search bar, search Event Viewer, go to Applications, then search for when you had your crash. Once you find the Event Viewer log, it should mention a access violation or have the error code 0xc0005. If you have a crash log that is a dump file, use WinDBG to read the crash log. Now this is fairly easy, all you need to do is click Windows plus R, then type sysdm.cpl, then you should get the system properties window and then go to advanced, performance settings, and then go to advanced. Then you should see virtual memory and how big your paging file is. So in my case, it's about 16 gigabytes, but for you to be different, just click change. And then you should see that it is whatever you set it to. So if you've already been here and you've already set something, then you might have custom size. And I actually made a video about this before where I was having issues with Far Cry 6 crashing in the loading menu. And I actually told everyone to set their custom size to the initial 20 gigabytes and the maximum 20 gigabytes. So that was basically forcing a solid 20 gigabytes paging file to your system, which if you had the space, that is fine. And honestly, in general, that might be fine. But at least in my case, I think either there was an issue with my virtual memory or it got corrupted. And so what happened is there started being access violations, at least with Dead Island 2, where anytime that I get into the game and I press start, the game just crashes and then if I go into the event viewer it says the 0xc0005 error or access violation and after doing some researching I ended up finding out that it had something to do with RAM and then I just happened to think maybe it's the paging file because of course that also counts as memory and that can also have a access violation and then all I did was set it to system manage size and restarted my PC and everything started working from there. So you don't want to set it to no paging file but you want to set it to system manage size because your system knows best and knows what it needs. So instead of forcing it to have 20 gigabytes, which may work, you want to just go ahead and give it system air size. And as you can see, it's getting close to 20 gigabytes. So honestly, I think in my case, it might've just been a bad paging file and it might've just needed some resetting. But I would personally say that to get rid of any of these issues, just go with system manager size instead of forcing a certain amount and you should be fine. Now, if this method didn't fix your issue, then here are a few things you could try. One, try running a memory test to make sure your RAM isn't faulty or corrupted. Two, run a SFC scan to fix any corrupted Windows files. And three, do some research for your specific game. There may be a specific fix for it. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you are running into any crashes, put them in the comments and I might make a video on it.